Hello, assalamu alaikum guys. This is my new tutorial about how to control all of your system output at once and how to make changes in the vo volume level of an aggregated system, aggregated device or multi output device or an HDMI device. Many of my friends were asking me how can we do it. So I figured out a, we can use an application named Audio Hijack. Now this tutorial is uh, on Audio Hijack basically and I will let you know how to use it and what we can do with an audio hijack device uh, software so the first thing we can do is we turn on the application and the first thing you will see in the application is this session section you will make a new section here they have given different templates for your use the basic one that can be useful to many of the people without making your new empty session so you can see here there are many options record all sound on your mac record voip apps like skype record from web driver browsers record application audio record audio from dvds and etc so let, let's start with the blank one here it is an empty uh, template First thing we will do is we will add a system audio. We will add an input device. We will add an output device. And if you want to record it, we will add a recording device. So once these is done, now we will turn on this by using this red button. Without this button, it won't work. The system will not take control of your system. The software will not take control of your system outputs and inputs once you click it here it starts now you can see that my recording you can see my recording is going through here to the output and uh, so this is you can see it's an input device recorder and output device and system audio now when if I will turn on my songs it will show you like here I turn the song and now what it is doing is it's taking the system audio recording it and outputting it to the device and same is doing done with my input volume sorry for my English same is done with the input device so I will change this to my speakers so you can hear it right now you can see and right now you can check that I can change the multi output device volume from here which I cannot do by default on an Apple system it is logged by system I don't know but due to which reason they have done that but it is logged but using this application it can be really helpful to change the volume of multi output devices and one more thing if you want to change for example if you want to get the output from the in internal speakers what you can do is you can get an internal speaker and you can select one more audio output device which can be and built in line out built in line out and what you one more interesting thing you can do is you can link this speaker to this and system audio to this now it is only recording system audio and it is outputting that volume and the output device is outputting my voice and I will decrease this volume to one and this recorder is recording this one and we can add one more recorder to it now an other recorder is just recording my audio my voice and one recorder is recording the systems audio and both of them are outputting the audio to different output units and one more thing we can do is we can add one more recorder which will record both of the systems volume the input volume 
my voice the system audio and combine it to a re new recorder and these recorders will save your audio at the end of the session if i close the session the record uh, the audio record will be saved to the default directory here are many different built-in effects they have provided you with now the first one is a test 10 band equalizer you can use it before after an input device or after an out system audio or you can use it on both of them and you can link it to both of them or what you can do is use one for this and one for this with their own respective values if I double click it you can see I can get different values and I can set different values for this and I can use D click on my input device T hum on my system audio and D noise for both of them so this will be a really nice configuration uh, something we can call a zero error setup they have provided you with so much versatility and so much expandability or options that any configuration is possible now we go to duckling ducking we go to synchronize time shifts time shift is a delay of an audio if I would do this to an system audio it will repeat the system audio it will delay it with minus three seconds there is also a precise time delay as well I, I found it in the last time I was using it it's called a precise time delay and it delays the audio in microseconds in milliseconds micro and milli as well and there are AU delay AU distortion AU filter AU graphic equalizer so much options you can add them with so many different configuration I hope this old video helped you and if it helps please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel and like my facebook page and I have added the link to the website from where you can download the audio hijack uh, application and for those who don't want don't want uh, for those who cannot buy this application I will provide you with a free link from where you can download it but you have to subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook page before I will tag you with the free link of this application that's it thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed talk to you in the next video